Hello, folks. Uh, Sean Mize here, and of course, we're here for the Power List Building, the uh, the seventh recording in this series. And uh, today, we're going to talk about doing joint venture ad swaps to build up your list and to build it build it with really high quality uh, leads. And uh, before we get started on that, uh, let me let me go ahead and do my my standard uh, recording uh, waiver here. I, I am recording this call, and by remaining on the call, you give your complete and unrestricted permission of the recording, and that you understand that this recording will be used in both sale and promotional materials without notice or compensation. Okay, now that we got the uh, legal stuff out of the way, I, I don't teach much about ad swaps, I, although I, I do them, and they're one of the most profitable things that I do, because unfortunately, w with the ad swaps, if everybody did them, uh, it wouldn't be effective anymore. There's a lot of things that, that out there that – there's very few things out there that if everybody does them, they continue to be effective. And, uh, and, and in fact, it's not really that everybody's doing it. If we look at article marketing, we can, we can do as much article marketing as we want. It doesn't become less effective. But one of the biggest reasons that it does not become less effective is because it's labor-intensive. It's one of the few things online that cannot be completely automated. And because of the labor involved, you can't just buy yourself into article marketing. There's certainly a labor involved, so that keeps a lot of people out. Um, you know, we've seen some of the giveaways in the past that, uh, oh, a few years ago, they were they were pretty good at building a, a list. But now, you know, if you put a 1,000 people on your list through some giveaway, you, you might come up with one buyer in there. So, it, you know, those, those aren't as powerful. And the thing about these ad swaps is, uh, and, and the idea with an ad swap is that, for example, what I'll do is I will mail a squeeze page offer for another marketer to my list in exchange for him mailing my offer to his list. And there's no money involved and there's no commissions or affiliate or anything like that. It's just literally an ad swap. Um, but the thing is, if everybody did it, 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 would, it would diminish the effect of it because everybody's list would grow. Um, and, they, you know, we all have the same names on every list and we'd, we'd lose that personal touch. But... Uh, I've chosen because there's really a small number of people with this, and, and of course this is one of the series that I sell, and so the access to this information will be limited. And so if if you use it, um, you'll be able to grow with it. Uh, but if everybody on Earth uses it, it'd be like any other fad. We uh, it, it runs out of steam in a hurry. So why don't I do this? Um, because one of the things that we are doing in these calls is, is uh, answering questions about list building and, and traffic building for the purpose of, of lists. Let's do this. Let's take a couple of questions, if there are any, and uh, then we'll go ahead and get started on uh, exactly how these joint venture ad swaps work, how to do them, how to start from zero. And uh, I'm going to go through everything today. I'm going to probably cover some things in here that I have never shared except in uh, private coaching. So any questions about anything having to do with list building or tra driving traffic for the purpose of list building? I, I don't have any specific ones at this time. Okay. I'll wait till I hear what you have to say because it, it might answer it. Okay. All righty. Well, that, that sounds fair. Well, we'll just go ahead and get started then. And I'm going to start at the beginning on this because I, I want it to be complete and a couple of the things I've covered may have been covered in, in other recordings. I, I want to make this particular topic 100% uh, complete. And uh, so we'll just start at the very, very, very uh, beginning. And, and uh, the, the idea with these ad swaps is that, you know, if I do an ad swap with someone, let's just say another marketer, and uh, he's got a similar, he or she has a similar size list to mine, then uh, – if he mails my squeeze page giveaway offer to his list, then I may add a few hundred subscribers. And then, of course, as I mail mine or his to my list, then I gain a few hundred subscribers. And and uh, what we've done is we've created these subscribers in a relationship, uh, in a strong referral relationship situation. So, you know, the, these subscribers are much stronger subscribers than subscribers that come from just about any kind of banner advertising or pay-per-click or e-zine or any, any of those other types of advertising. And my testing shows that, that they are more responsive and spend more money than people who have come through article marketing, which, as most of you know, article marketing is my bread and butter uh, and, and creates much higher response rates and much higher uh, purchases per subscriber than most other sources of traffic. 
but this one source uh, on a per subscriber basis is actually more profitable than article marketing. Although, again, like I said, the article marketing is my bread and butter, whereas these joint ventures are things that, you know, help me out an extra 10 or 15 percent here or there in terms of in terms of numbers. And one of the big reasons for that, this, I believe, is the idea that if someone else uh, indicates before somebody even gets to see my squeeze page that they're recommending me uh, based on our relationship and, and, you know, something valuable there, then if there's a trust that's already based, built up with that other marketer, then some of that trust is transferred to me. And, of course, I have to maintain that trust. And, uh, and, and the, the, the flip side of that is if I'm promoting something for somebody else, I've got to be, you know, I, I'm going to give that recommendation too. So I've got to make sure that if I give people an opportunity to visit someone else's site, that when they get there, they're going to get the same value that they would for me, okay? Um, because my relation, my my, my uh, reputation is now on the line. So in some way, both of our reputations are on the line. But if we only do this with reputable marketers, we can we can really grow. Um, I've had months where I've added, and I want to say more than a thousand. I know I've had several months where I've added more than a thousand subscribers. I believe that and I did the numbers a couple of weeks ago, uh, and I believe that two months ago I generated 1,800 new subscribers using this method. I did about 10 swaps and uh, and came up with about 1,800 subscribers. And about a year ago I did one of these. I did about 10 or 12 of them. And uh, I want to say I came up with about 2,000 new subscribers when when I did that. And, and they again, they tend to be very profitable uh, subscribers. So... If we were starting from absolute scratch, and I know that some of you listening to this are starting from scratch, you know, you don't have a list of 10,000 people, for example, to be able to swap with someone else. You may have, uh, let's say before we go to absolute scratch, let's say you have a smaller list. You know, my list as it stands right now, I think is 12,900 and change, and hopefully I'll hit 13,000 in a couple of days. But, uh, you know, I may do a, a swap with somebody that's only got two or 3,000 leads, and then what I'll normally do is mail a few thousand of my leads and not my entire list in exchange for them mailing their entire list. And, um, you know, so the flip side is, you know, if, if you've got a much smaller list, you can certainly do swaps with people who have much bigger lists. You know, just let them know that you don't expect that they mail their entire list. They, they mail an equivalent portion. And it gives you the opportunity to really build and build and build. And I'll tell you, when I first started doing these, I waited until I had about 1,500 subscribers because I, I really wanted to have some value. And then I was doing trades with people that had two or three or 4,000 subscribers. And most of them were fair. Um, sometimes I gave people a lot more subscribers than they gave me. And there were a couple of people that gave me a lot more than I expected. And, and, and in, in fact, in a couple of those cases, I think I did a second mailing for them so that I just feel like I, we each gave each other good value. And, and for the longest time, I told people, I said, you know, really, you got to wait till you have 1,000 or 1,500 subscribers to do this. And uh, recently, in, in some coaching, um, I realized that, that I could take somebody from zero to like the first three or four or 500 using, um, using some, just, just some, some, some quick and, and simple methods and then get them really after they've got even two or 300 subscribers and have them start doing these ad swaps to grow, and I've seen some success with it. So, you know, that, that's why I'm saying now I changed my mind about saying you have to start with 1,000 or 1,500. You can literally start from zero because I've seen now some of my clients have, have done that and been successful. If you are starting from zero, of course, you need a domain name. You need a squeeze page. Um, so that you can uh, send people to that, so that the other people can send that th their traffic to that squeeze page. The next thing that you're going to want to do, you, you can't do this with zero, okay, is you need to get a few hundred subscribers. And the faster you can get those, the better. Now, I am not a huge fan of pay-per-click for beginners. And the reason for that is uh, normally pay-per-click requires a significant expenditure to do all the tracking and testing that's necessary to create a profitable campaign. However, pay-per-click is quick and easy, and it's fast. 
And uh, so what I recommend, if you're literally starting at zero and you want to be able to start doing these joint venture ad swaps fast and soon, what I recommend is get a pay-per-click account, put the squeeze page on that pay-per-click account, and get two or 300 subscribers, okay? Once you've got those two or 300 subscribers, you can begin to do these ad swaps with people that have maybe 1,000 subscribers. You're going to have a hard time getting somebody that's got 15,000 subscribers to mail a few hundred of his subscribers in exchange for your mailing. But, you know, you, you, you really have the opportunity to network with people that have 500, 1,000, maybe even 1,500 subscribers and continue to build up the size of that list. If all you add is, now I personally add about 200 subscribers on average every time I do a swap. Now, that's an average. I've done swaps where I've gotten 15, and I've done swaps where I've gotten 500. And, uh, you know, frankly, I probably wouldn't have done the swap where I did the, got 15 subscribers if I thought that that would be the case. Uh, but either I didn't do my homework or somebody told me a story about the size of their list or well, whatever the case was. And I guess that's neither here nor there. But on average, I average a couple hundred subscribers per swap. And and that's current. So with over 12,000, 12,900 right now, and I think when I was doing these swaps a couple of months ago, I was probably at about 11 or 11.5. I was getting about 200 subscribers apiece. What I think is very interesting is that when I first started doing these swaps, when I had, I want to say about 1,500 subscribers, I was getting about the same average, a couple hundred per swap. And I was swapping with people with much smaller lists. And uh, so... You know, I, I really believe that, that uh, and again, I haven't, when I, when I started, I built the list with article marketing, okay? Um, almost everything I teach is exactly what I've done, and this very first step here is not what I've done. It's what I've coached some others to do, and they've done it profitably, um, and then everything after you get past that first 1,000 subscribers or so is exactly what I've done. Uh, but getting those first 1,000 subscribers, get the first two or 300 through pay-per-click, Start doing ad swaps, and if all you do is add 50 or 100 subscribers per swap, you can see that that'll begin to add up. Um, let's go through. Maybe why don't I stop now and uh, take any questions if there are any, and then I'll go through like literally step by step um, how to do the swap uh, once you've got those first few hundred subscribers. Any questions on anything that uh, I've, I've talked about already now? Um, Still waiting. <laughs> no, you've hit the nail on the head for me for sure. Is that I'm starting with zero list. Okay. All righty. Well, um, yeah. Then, then this is a prescription that'll work for you. And I tell you, for the last couple of years, I've I've always preached what I did, because what I did was when I started, I did it the hard way. I added a few hundred subscribers a month through the articles, and I still recommend that you do that. But if you want to build your list fast and you want to use joint ventures, uh, you know, I'm going to go against everything I've ever said and say, because I've seen some success with some recent clients where I just kind of suggested it either at the top of my head and it's been very effective, use the pay-per-click to gather a few hundred subscribers. You know, they'll be maybe costly subscribers, but get them. And then once you have them, they're leveraged, and, and they're leveraged to build your list to any size that you want. Mm-hmm. In 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 a, in a short period of time. Uh, any be, other questions? Well, this might be. Go ahead. It, it kind of runs maybe parallel uh, in getting started. Okay. But what what are your thoughts on using like one of those mail houses where they'll, you know, to just at least to get people some some percentage. It may be an extremely small percentage, but if it's an extremely small percentage of a very large number, it, you know, it might economically work out. Is this Dan? I'm sorry? Is this Dan? Yes, it is. is Dan. Dan. All right. I don't don't know everybody's voice yet. Um, Dan, I tell you, I've I've done some experimenting with that, and and it's not very effective, uh, number one. Number two, many of those mail houses, it's actually illegal for them uh, to do a mailing that's exactly on your behalf. It goes against the canned spam laws. Um, and then if they're doing a mailing to their own list, the conversion rates tend to be uh, very, very low. Um, I find that in most cases you you can actually buy a, a less expensive lead by advertising yourself using the pay-per-click. 
Really? Um, that, that's been my experience, yeah. And uh, what, what happens with those, those email lists is um, the conversion rate is just really so very small. And, uh, you know, in order for them to, to, to break even, and, of course, they've got to make a profit, you know, they're, they're charging you a flat fee. You know, I would say, Dan, if, you know, if, if you want to throw that into the mix and kind of do your own testing, um, that's one of the things I tested early on and, and, uh, and didn't have much success with it. And, um, you know, we really haven't used that to, to build, you know, my, the size of list that I've got right now. And, and in fact, most marketers that I know uh, that have lists that are my size or bigger are not using uh, that method. Uh, there's a couple that use some co-registration, but uh, that's another dangerous, slippery slope. Most of, you know, my understanding is that most of those co-reg leads, by the time they get to you, they're, they're no longer legal. And uh, most of the autoresponder companies won't allow you to mail them, and they'll shut you down if they catch you. And so, it uh, you know it's it, it's really rough to build a business that way uh, by by doing something like pay per click or the article marketing, which of course is how I built my business. And uh, and by doing these ad swaps, then everything's nice and clean. Okay. Um, Sean, could I interrupt a minute? Yeah. I've yeah, never is this really, Roberta? Yeah, this is Roberta. Yeah, you're starting to recognize my voice. Um, I've never really known what co-registration is. What is that? Okay, co-registration is, um, well, let me ask you this. Have you ever gone to a web page and, and uh, you've downloaded something or you've entered your name and email address and then on the confirmation there's a list of like 10 different boxes you can check if you want to get on 10 different mailing lists. Oh, Have you ever yeah, seen anything yeah. like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, get response. Okay, now. That. If you do that, then that right there is usually legal because you're, you're literally opting into each one of those lists. So if you actually do a genuine co-op with someone else, so for example, and I'm not interested, but just as an example, if you and I and Dan were to go in and pool all our money and, and run a list, run something, and then we'd have a little check boxes, and then they'd subscribe to all three of our lists at the very same time, then that would actually be legal. Unfortunately, because it, let's just say that my name was on the first page, they're looking for information from me, not Dan or Roberta. And so what happens is anybody else that gets into that with those check marks gets very low quality traffic. You get tons of spam complaints because they don't know who you are. Now, what co-registration usually is, is it's not an, a genuine co-op. What co-registration normally is, is they do the same method with those check boxes. But instead of literally giving you the lead, they give 15 people the, the same lead. Well, the, the, the laws in the states right now indicate that they have to request information from you. And so if you mail them, even though they just requested information two days ago, if you mail them those, those, those leads along with the 14 other people they were sold to, everybody is nine in compliance with the law. And there's some pretty steep fines that are associated with doing that. So even though the lead looks very legal, and of course it's double opt-in, the only person that can legally mail that person in America is the person that collected the lead, not you, because you bought it as a co-reg lead. So if there are some co-reg leads out there that are safe, uh, it, or that's my understanding anyway, but, but generally those are set up as a co-op. So you're, you're literally, the click goes to you, Rather than you know splitting it with ten other people, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I, that's the best explanation I've heard of it so far. Now I think I, I've got it. I appreciate it. Okay, that. well, good deal. All righty, let's go back to this, and then I'll open up for questions in a few minutes. The very first step that uh, that that um, well, we've already talked about the very first step, which is to gather your first few hundred subscribers. Uh, if you've been hanging around me for very long, you know that I've done it almost exclusively, with the exception of a couple of bouts with this, with the, J, the joint venture ad swaps. The bulk of my list is built with article marketing. It's my bread and butter. I generate up to several thousand subscribers um, every single month as a result of the article marketing. Um, and, of course, in this instance, I'm saying, hey, if you're going to do these ad swaps and you're starting at zero, spend a few hundred bucks on pay-per-click, gather yourself two or 300 subscribers, and start doing these ad swaps. You don't need to wait a couple of months for article marketing to, to kick in. So assuming that you've got a few hundred subscribers and you want to get out there and find some people to ad swap with, 
there's a few different ways that you can find people to add swap with. Now, keep in mind, the only people that you want to add swap with are people that have lists, okay? You know, so you're, you don't have to look in the general population. You're just literally looking for people who have lists. Now, there's a few different ways to get to know these people who have lists. The very first way that you can do it is get on everybody else's list out there. Uh, when I first started marketing, uh, I probably got myself on a few hundred lists. I'm probably on 500 or 800 lists right now. No, no, no joke. I, I, I get probably 150 emails a day, and that's just a number off the top of my head, but I know that I go through somewhere between 500 and 1,000 emails altogether, including spam. But I'd say probably about 150 emails from just from people I'm on their list every single day. And so if you get out there and get on people's lists, then, well, you're on their list, you know they have a list. Okay. Now, I have to give you this one piece of advice, though. Set it, go, go get a throwaway email account, you know, a Yahoo or a Gmail or Hotmail or, or something else, where uh, you, you can just set up an email address and all of those lists go to that email address. And uh, if any of them do manage to filter through to your email address, you have to remember that the other 100 people that are mailing you every day, they're all in this to make a buck just like you are, okay? And if you spend your time reading all of their emails and jumping on every single fad that they believe is the biggest thing, you know, since uh, sliced bread, uh, you'll never make any money yourself. You'll buy everybody else's product on earth. You'll chase every fad out there, and you'll never make anything happen. So if you're going to get on lists, just realize that they're in this the same way that you are. Okay, and and you, you just cannot jump on every single fad that happens. Ninety-eight percent of everything that's promoted out there, in my opinion, is a fad. You know, everybody's got the latest, greatest way to build traffic, the latest, greatest way to do things. You want to make sure anything you do is what we call evergreen, meaning that if you start it today, it'll still work five years from now. Okay, and generally things that work five years from now, they've been working for five years. You know, if somebody sends you an email and, something just started yesterday and it's going to take over the world tomorrow, uh, it's probably not everything it's cracked up to be. So I'll leave that alone now. But set up a, you know, get, an, get a different email address for, for all those lists. And if people send you these lists. This will give you a stock of people who have lists. And, and you can be, you get on those lists as quickly as possible. You don't want to join the list today and then ask the person if you can mail tomorrow. Get on their list. The second thing that you can do is... Um, and one way to find all of this, all of these people, is through Google or Yahoo. And you can literally, whatever your niche is, type in your niche and uh, just literally go through the search engine results, one, two, three, four, five, and anybody that has a squeeze page as the page that you get to, they're building a list. Okay, and they may not all have big lists. It doesn't mean they have a big list. It means they have a list. They may have 10 people. They may have 100,000, but they're people that are building lists. Normally, people that are building lists are pretty amenable to doing something like this if you bring it up to them. Um, I usually am, depending on who the person is and, and the quality of their work and that kind of thing. And you'll find that most, many people will be the same way. Just as a side note, um, I'm going to go over this later, but, but just as a side note, generally if I send out 10 letters uh, asking to do a swap, I'll get about three people that say yes. So you can just do the numbers on that. Um, another good place is Google or Yahoo or any of the other, the pay-per-click. So the ads that are on the top or the right. You know, these people are paying a dollar a lead or two dollars a lead to grab leads on a subscriber list. And uh, if they can have an opportunity to grab a few hundred leads from you at no cost to themselves except giving you a few hundred leads, uh, that, that doesn't really take anything away from you. Uh, normally, it's, it's, it's kind of a breath of fresh air. And many people that use pay-per-click use squeeze pages. So you can go in and just sign up for the list. Put your name and email address in there, sign up for the list, and now you're on their list. Um, so those are the three ways that you, can, uh, that you can find people. Get on every list that you possibly can. Anybody sends you an offer to get on somebody else's list, get on it. Uh, use uh, the search engines, the organic searches, and then use the paid searches. And then the next step is going to be to uh, to write the letter. And uh, i tell you what I'm going to do. Go ahead and uh, let's just open things up. Any questions, uh, any questions at all, 
on anything that I've talked about or uh, you know, any, 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 any questions so far. Not for me. Not yet. Uh, oh, not yet. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. I'm actually pulling up right now. I usually don't do this word for word, but uh, I'm gonna give it to you. The small group here, and I'm just gonna give you word for word what I use in my letter. And I wrote this so probably well, two years ago, and I haven't changed it. I haven't split tested or anything goofy like that. Uh, simply because three out of ten is fine with me. If if I can get, you know, if I can send out ten of those and get three people to swap with me each week, I'm fine with that. So basically, what I do is uh, in the subject line, I, I don't do any smoke and mirrors. And probably, if you've noticed, um, I may do some stuff that sometimes looks like smoke and mirrors, but I, I, I try not to. And if anything really looks like smoke and mirrors, and anything I do, let me know. But I, I just like to be direct with people, and so I, I don't try to trick anybody that I'm on their list into opening my email. I don't try to trick them. So in the subject line, I just literally put, I write this literally, interested in doing a mailing swap, question mark. And that way, if a marketer doesn't want to do a mailing swap and he doesn't know who I am, he doesn't waste my time opening the email. I, I just, I hate it when people respond to one of my autoresponder emails with something stupid. And obviously, I don't feel like this is stupid, but, you know, to some people it might be stupid. And some of the things that I get that people ask me to do, may feel stupid to me, but they didn't to them. So I, I just, that subject line, if it can match up with the email, all the better. So I just literally, right there, interested in doing a mailing swap, question mark. And uh, then when I go into the email, I, I, there's no long story, okay? A dear, and I personalize it, so if I'm on John's list, it's dear John. I won't waste your time here. I'm on your list, have been for some time now. It looks like you've got about the same demographic on your list as I have on mine. Would you be interested in mailing an offer designed to generate new subscribers to my list in exchange for my doing the same with your list? If that's of interest to you, just let me know. I've got my name and then uh, a URL. It gives them the opportunity to subscribe to my list and see if I'm worth anything, if, if, if they even feel proud to recommend me to their list. Okay? You know, I don't build up a whole big story about why I should do it. It's just a couple of lines. I'm, I'm very direct. And I believe that's the best way because I, I get a I get ridiculous number of emails from people that asking me to participate in joint ventures and boy nothing wrong with that but some of them are books you know they're literally books and uh, you know when you get a list of thirteen thousand people you just don't have time to read books for joint venture um, you know and it, you just get something short like this trust me you appreciate it so my guess is that's why it's a thirty percent conversion rate. People write back and say, yeah, I'd like to do that. But half the time they'll ask you, they'll write you back and ask you some questions. You know, how many do you have on your list? What's your open rate? That kind of thing. And, and just always be honest. Never inflate the number. If you have 212, you have 212. And then write them in. And uh, I normally write them back and ask them how many they've got on their list. If you only got a few hundred subscribers, write them back and say, I've got 300 subscribers. You know, um, I'd be willing, you know, if you want to just mail a portion of your list to match mine, you know, that's fine. I'm just getting started. I appreciate your help, you know. Um, and, and a lot of times people will help, you know, sometimes people will say, well, I, it's not worth my time to mail 300 people. And that's fair. You just got to respect it. You know, that that's fair. So that's pretty much my letter. It's very direct, a couple of lines. Um, any questions? Um, yeah, Sean, this is Roberta again. Um, Go ahead. Well, I don't want to, uh, I don't know how to approach this. Um, the one we did, did you benefit any at all? Because I know my list wasn't real big yet, but um, I did another promotion about the same time. So I don't know other than I should have set up a different autoresponder to separate it for testing, but I'm up over 1,000 now. So I'm No, sure nice job. I think some of those came from you, and I think some came from mm -hmm. the other JV I was doing at the time. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Well, Did that first help of all, you? Roberta. First of all, Roberta, congratulations! I'm, I'm glad to see that your list is growing, and you're doing it through some uh, some JV. So, congratulations on making that happen. Roberta, well, I'm going to be honest say. with you. I don't have my stats. I oh, could probably okay. get to them, but I don't have my stats uh, right well, in front of me, so I don't know off the top of my head. 
um, how many subscribers uh, came out of that. So uh, I, I, I don't I don't know that number, Roberta. Yeah. If it hadn't have been for you, um, I don't think I would have had that good a result anyway. So that really really helped me. But I well, and that's you good too. to hear. That's good to hear. I always like to hear that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I work with somebody and and uh, they they, uh, they get some good results. I always like to hear that. Yeah. So thank you for sharing that with me. Any, any other questions on anything before we move on here? Okay. The last thing that we're going to do on the swap itself, okay, is we're going to do the swap. So you, you send the email 50% of the time. They'll say, uh, well, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. And uh, you mail your list and they'll mail theirs. Um, about 50% of the time they'll ask you some questions, how many, what's your open rate, you know, some of them will ask you if you have an affiliate program. Um, I don't, and uh, so I just tell people no, and most of them are fine with that. And we just swap emails. And uh, in fact, if I had an, a, an affiliate program, I don't know that I'd want to use it for this. You see, the, the whole purpose in this is is uh, I convert my subscribers better than most people convert off of sales pages. Okay, so the thing is, if I were to send out a you know, if we both did a sales page swap, okay, and uh, maybe each of us sold a product and uh, maybe we sold 10 copies apiece and we both add 10 buyers onto our list, we both make $400 or $900 or whatever it is. Uh, but I'd much rather have the 200 subscribers, okay, because of the way I monetize my subscribers. I'll get mo much more out of my list, out of 200 subscribers, many more times in dollars than if I did some one-time affiliate swap where I got 10 buyers, okay? And so I'm just real big on that, and, and I, I'm just very honest with people. I say, you know, I, I, I'm just doing this to, to give you the opportunity to, to, uh, to build a relationship with some of my subscribers, and, of course, I'm going to do this so I can build a relationship with some of your subscribers. And, you know, it's not about the money this time. Now, what will happen, though, is, is some of the people that I do swaps with on there, after someone opts in, there's a uh, there's a, a one-time offer of some kind, and and normally if somebody has something like that set up and they do a swap with me, they probably end up taking in three or four or five hundred dollars on uh, on those back ends, um, and it, it's not a problem to me. I, I get much more than that on that on that 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 uh, relationship that I build rather than trying to make a sale uh, right away. But having said all of that, uh, you if you do have a product and you do want to monetize it, then uh, you certainly can. You can uh, you can certainly put your product on like a one-time offer or something like that um, after the opt-in and not uh, pay them, you know, pay the other person some type of a commission on that. You can do that and uh, that will help you monetize things. Um, but certainly, certainly not necessary and uh, I, I, uh, I would personally try to avoid doing just affiliate swaps. I would you know, this is all about the subscriber, gaining a subscriber and gaining trust. And I find that if I don't ask for money right away, then uh, people pay me more money because in the long run there's lots of reasons for that. But uh, I'm just not, I'm not big on trying to monetize somebody right off the bat. And um, I'll stop rambling on about that. So the way you're physically going to do the swap is uh, in your autoresponder, I use a Weber. And uh, in my autoresponder, I just queue it up for a certain time. I queue up their uh, uh, squeeze page. And uh, normally, I'll, I'll promote them in some way. I'm not, I don't put a full-page sales letter or anything else in the email. It just basically says, Dear Subscriber, um, you know, I've got a free gift here from you from XYZ. And, uh, you know, download it, or here it is, or whatever the case is. I, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty direct. I'm, I'm normally pretty short and concise when I send those, those emails out. And uh, that's about it. And then, of course, you'll collect the subscribers. Um, I'm, as you know, I'm big on tracking and testing. And uh, so anytime I set something up, I, I give people a unique page and a unique web form from AWeber so I can see exactly how many subscribers come in from that particular uh, individual. Uh, I'll open this up for questions again. Any any questions on uh, on doing these swaps here? John, I have a question again. Yeah, Roberta, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, oh, that's you were, okay. You were reading your letter. Is there some way we can copy that somewhere? I couldn't write. Well, that. I am going to be 
Well, I am going to, um, I'll just go ahead and give it to you again. I, um, I tell you what, if you'll do this, if you'll shoot me an email, yes. then I will, uh, I'll respond to you. Just ask me for the letter and I'll attach it, uh, right. to, to that, uh, to that email. So, I'll probably change uh, but, around, but you said it so well. So. Yeah, so no, no problem at all. Yeah. Make it sound like yeah, me. no problem at all. Okay. So just okay. just shoot me an email when we get off the call, okay, and uh, I'll send you a copy of it. I appreciate so. that. Oh, you're welcome. Any other questions on doing these ad swaps? Not at this time. Okay. All right. I think uh, that uh, I think that's about it with these ad swaps. Um, it, it's a very simple procedure. Um, I, again, I don't talk about it much because just think about it. If everybody was doing these ad swaps, everybody would get inflated lists. And, and you know, if you think about it, if somebody's going to spend thousand dollars this month, and uh, there's only ten people that they know that they can spend that money with, and on average they're going to spend a hundred dollars a piece. And but if they have a thousand people that they can spend that on, they're going to spend an average of a dollar a piece. Now, granted, they're not going to spend a dollar a piece each because they're going to purchase products of different uh, sizes, price sizes. But on average, your conversion rates will go down. The more people that are on the list, that the more people that are on your subscribers' lists. Okay, so this is something that uh, you really don't want to do in volume and in mass. You don't want everybody doing it. This is one of those things that's beneficial if a very few people are doing it. And uh, so that's why I don't, I don't teach on this a lot. But it's a, it's a very simple method. About once every six weeks or so, I will go into my email account and uh, just send out one of these letters to 20 or 30 people that have sent me a letter in the last 24 days or 24 hours, um, you know, and I'll just hit it right back to them with this exact email. And uh, some of them say yes and some of them say no and some of them you don't hear back from. But it's, it's, a, it's a highly effective method of, of generating leads. And if we look at a progression, and let's do this, let's look at a progression. This is what I've seen with some other people. You know, in a week, you can easily generate 200 subscribers using pay-per-click. I remember one week, this was a year, year and a half ago, I did some pay-per-click and generated, I want to say, 1,500 uh, subscribers in about 10 days. Um, I was gearing up for launch, and I wanted some additional subscribers. And so I spent a few thousand dollars and generated um, altogether. It was a few thousand subscribers, I think. But at the height of it, I think it was about 10 days, 1,500 subscribers. So it's certainly something that you can make happen. You can easily generate a few hundred subscribers in a hurry using pay-per-click. It's probably not profitable to do that long run, um, you know, unless you unless you really study the pay-per-click. You do it right. Do a lot of testing and tweaking so you can make it profitable. You have some nice products on the back end you can monetize it with. It's great for getting a few hundred subscribers, uh, and then literally. I average 200 subscribers on my swaps, but I have a little bit bigger list. I have a little bit more leverage. Um, I, I'm going to guess. I'm just going to give you a guess on this, but if, if you're swapping with people that have smaller lists, say 1,000 to 1,500, um, you're probably going to gain between 50 and 100 subscribers every swap would be my guess. And, uh, you know, if you just did that for 10 swaps and let's say you average 750 a or 75 a swap, that'd be 750 subscribers. And if you started with 200, you'd have 950 subscribers. And you can literally do a swap every day. And uh, so anyhow, you can see how these numbers work. And then once you get to 950 or 1,000 subscribers, you can start swapping with people that have a few thousand subscribers. And uh, that list can build pretty quickly. If, if, if you're dedicated to doing this, it's not going to happen in 15 minutes of, uh, of, of, of effort every week. I mean, you're definitely going to have to keep up. Somebody writes you an email saying they'd like to do it. Keep in mind that people that are in business answering emails, a lot of them only answer emails for 15 minutes a day. You know, they, they don't sit on email all day long. And if you don't hit respond to them and say, hey, let's call it a go, let's set a time, and then I hear from them again for three days. You know, and that happens with me sometimes. I normally either answer somebody. If you send me an email, you've probably noticed I either give you an immediate response or you don't hear from me for a day or two. You know, if I'm online, you generally get a response right away. 
If I'm not online, if I'm working on some other things, maybe a day or two. And it's the same thing if it takes you three emails back and forth to set up a swap, and each of them are two or three days apart, it'd take you 10 days to set up a swap. But if you're right on top of it, sometimes you can do it in 10 or 15 minutes. So I think that's it on uh, on this technique. I'll take any questions here on the technique. Take any questions. I'll make this open the way that we've got this thing structured, uh, you, you know, the way we've got this structured, I really want this to be a, kind of a an environment where anybody that's on the call can, can ask questions and uh, really it just benefits everybody else. So any questions on list building or, or traffic generation? I'll make a statement. Yeah, go right ahead. Um, it's refreshing to hear hear what uh, is coming across, just the way you present. It's, it's refreshing to hear what uh, is obviously the truth and from a position of having been there done and having done it because uh one of the things that you brought up about this uh swapping um i actually had uh, purchased a a product from somebody and uh in the course material uh it brought up doing uh a f- swaps and uh, and it actually said just to uh, tell the person you've got a list even though you don't and the other person is none the wiser so you can do great business <laughs> that way and uh on the surface you know I mean anybody that's got any more uh, morals at all that just that just that just smelled yeah well that's a shame that really but is but it was man. actually in the course material wow that's yep. that's a shame. That, that's a crying shame. But, uh, uh, yeah, I definitely. The... I mean, definitely be upfront and honest with people. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. If 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 you tell somebody you only have 250 subscribers, you're not going to get as many yeses. But the yeses you get are going to be solid. Some people are going to feel sorry for you and help you out. They're going to appreciate you're making an effort. Some people are going to write you off. Um, and then some people are going to ignore you, and then some people are going to be glad to get some subscribers from you. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, no sense in not being honest. And then, of course, we're talking about starting at zero. I mean, you know, I don't even think you can go to somebody starting at zero. You can go out there and get a few hundred subscribers and pay the three or four or five hundred bucks or whatever it takes on pay per click to, to, to make it happen. Yeah, I would just say, you know, honesty goes a whole long way in this business. And, uh, you know, there's so many people out there, so many times you hear things that just don't ring of the truth. And I'll tell you, if, if you operate from a position of truth and honesty, you will probably find if you do everything else right, and you can't be the only thing, but it's just like a table has four legs, you know, my guess is if you do everything else right, you'll actually do better than the people that, think that they're getting ahead by playing a, a, a smoke and mirrors game. So I, I appreciate you bringing that up, man. Yeah, no problem. All righty. Any other comments, questions? And, and we've, we've got a few minutes here. We'll call it a wrap early if we need to, but kind of, you know, uh, you know this is really an opportunity. If you have anything, feel free to, to, to use this time. Don't feel like you're monopolizing it. Um, and it actually benefits me because if you ask a question, I usually go deeper into things than, than I think when I write out an outline. So uh, any questions or anything you want to cover before we call this a wrap? Well, it's been really good, Sean. You're always helpful as usual. Yeah. Um, well, I don't want to take Roberta's time. No, um, no. I'm, okay. I don't have anything uh, the only <laughs> thing I, would, I wanted to circle back with you too, Sean, is uh, uh, regarding the... Uh, the sessions with you one-on-one type thing okay um i'll have to take a look at my schedule right and um i i actually saw your email before we got on this call and uh i had a whole line of emails and uh it was kind of i i got off a coaching call a half hour before this call started and i grabbed the soda and tried to answer some emails but I'll tell you this, Dan, as soon as we get off of this, I'll make that a priority. I'll look at my schedule, and um, I'll, I'll give you my first available. How does that sound? That sounds as good as I could expect. All That's right. awesome. Okay. I appreciate it. All right. Hey, no, no problem at all. Um, 
well, if there aren't any other questions for me on this call, we'll call it an early call. And uh, my guess is that if my guess is that this information on this that we've covered uh, in the half hour, 40 minutes that we spent on that, if you use it, it's probably more valuable than anything else that I've done so far in this series. The next two or three sessions are going to be um, – they're going to be powerful. Um, but they'll be broad stroke powerful, whereas this is very targeted. This is one thing that you could literally do tonight and literally set up a pay-per-click campaign tonight in a couple of days, have a couple hundred subscribers, and maybe next Tuesday start sending emails out and asking people to do swaps. I mean, this is one of those things that that uh, you can literally just snap your fingers, and a week from now you can be making something happen. I mean, the time to take action is now. It usually is. Um, um, but this is one of those things that you could literally have real results in seven days, whereas with so much else that we do, I mean, face it, if 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 I help you put together, you put together an article marketing campaign, it's going to be a month or two before you have nice, strong results, no matter how hard you work. And, you know, if, if I help you put together an ebook or a teleclass or a CD series, if I help you create a real product that you can sell for a few hundred bucks, or depending on your niche, a few thousand dollars, you know, it, it's going to take us a few months before you're going to start seeing money from selling that product. But this, what we talked about today with these ad swaps, is one of the, one of the few things that if you take action today, you can see real results in just a few days. So, all righty, well, with that said, uh, let's call it a wrap. And, uh, yep, let's, let's just go ahead and call it a wrap. Okay, sounds, sounds good. good. Appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. Good all righty. Oh, you're good welcome. Good information. Yep, wonderful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I always appreciate that. No problem. All righty, have Look a good one. Look forward to hearing and, from you. Uh, I'll, I'll shoot that email out, Dan, as soon as, uh, just give me a minute or two, and I'll, hey, no problem, I'll no check problem. my schedule. <laughs> Well, I tell you, Dan, if I don't get it out to you right now, it might be tomorrow morning when I open up email again. So <laughs> I'll just make a commitment. That's the first thing I'll do, or it might be a day. <laughs> okay. Well, I appreciate it. All righty. Roberta, All right, have no a good problem. one. Talk Thank later. you very much. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.